and welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15, where I'll be giving you three tips for tomorrow's horse race in action. But before we get stuck into them, let's quickly just reflect on how our tips performed today. In the end, it was a good day here on my YouTube channel as we had a winning nap over at Salisbury with a horse called Just Glamorous. It was a nice uh, performance in the end by that one for the Inform Chris Mason team. Didn't get uh, out of the gate uh, very quickly, but then in the end, once he got to the cutaway, he was able to assert his authority on the, ra on the race and he was quite a comfortable winner in the end. Like I said, he was originally advertised at 13 to 2, but he was well gambled throughout the day and it was very well supported. I think he went off second favourite in the end. So it was a good performance by him and I hope some of you were on. Our other selections, though, away from that, were slightly disappointing. Um, the long shot, Hauser Black, could just never get into the race at all. I think he was unnerved by the strong pace from the get go and it was his stable mate Chichester that won that race. And then the other tip I gave uh, was Uzo at Salisbury. He ran okay, he finished in fifth place but he was probably just a little bit tired there in the closing stages and what was actually quite a warm contest now looking back at it so yeah not a bad day today with that winning nap and fingers crossed we can find another winner for you tomorrow so like I said at the top of the video three tips for tomorrow's racing and we're going to be going to Newmarket for the first one where we go to the 4.45 I'm going to take a chance here with my long shot Talbot for George Buckle claiming three and he's riding for Brian Meehan at the current time recording this horse was available at 11 to 1 and I'm going to recommend a 0.5 each way selection here now I think this horse has been crying out for the step up and trip and he tries a mile for the first time in his career tomorrow he's got a mile in pedigrees by Glen Eagles who was uh, a Guineas winner and also as well on the dam side of the pedigree there's plenty of milers in there so I think the step up in trip will really suit. He's also as well caught the eye on a couple of occasions this season when he finished second at Ascot and then he finished third as well at Sandam last time out over seven furlongs running on really strongly and what was actually quite a warm contest for the grade if you actually look at the profile of this horse so far and what he's been doing he's actually been running over sprinting trips where he has shown ability he actually won over five furlongs on debut at Lingfield but it just seems now that he's been limited at, at those kind of distances and I think the key to him will be stepping him up in trip and I think he's got a good chance I think the nature of the track will play to his strengths too the stiff um, straight I think will really benefit him and I could see him coming with a late run tomorrow and uh, definitely be in there or thereabouts come the end of the race so that's why he can be my long shot tomorrow and I'm going to recommend like I said a 0.5 each way tip with him we then move on to the next selection staying at Newmarket for the nap in the last race there we go to the 520 with a horse called Erichavan I can't pronounce that but uh, you'll see it on the screen it's for Ryan Moore and Robert Cowell now you can currently back this horse at five to two and I'm going to recommend a one point win bet now this horse has been running really well of late uh, for Tom Morley and it's just been chinned on a couple of occasions in some really decent contests he actually ran a good race for a long way against Arecibo who I think actually did make the frame in the King stand and if you look at some of his other races he's been meeting better quality sprinters than what he's going to be uh, up against tomorrow he finished second at Chelmsford last time out over six furlongs where he was just chinned late on but I think uh, the drop back to the bare minimum of five will be uh, definitely within his comfort zone. And I think Ryan Moore as well is definitely a massive positive, uh, in my opinion. I like Ryan on front runners. I think he's very good at it. We saw it last week with his performance on Love um, in the Prince of Wales stakes. And I just think if he can set the fractions right, even though it is over the minimum trip, I think Arja Fan has a really good chance of uh, winning this race and finally getting his well-deserved win because I don't think it's a particularly strong uh, class four contest even though this horse has been running in class fours like I said I think um, he's been taking on better opposition and I think in this race he's got a really good chance to finally get that deserved win so that's why he's going to be might and nap of the day. We then finished the the video going to my next best uh, going to Leicester for the evening action there we go to the 6.45 of a horse called Jewel Identity this is like I said where my next best is going to be coming in for Andrea Zaney and Willie Knight who's yard in really good form at the moment they're operating at 22% 22, 22 strike rate for a small operation but this horse Jewel Identity again he's been an eye catcher on the last uh, few of his starts including the last time at Salisbury where he finished at second that was a classified race but the form in that race wasn't too bad as the third place horse who we will see tomorrow at um at the new marker andrew bolden i think it was a horse called spirit mixer actually ran a really good race next time out and even though this horse like i said he did run in that classified stakes i think he does have some untapped potential over this distance 
Now, he is going to be stepping onto quicker ground tomorrow, but I don't think that should be a problem. And I think the nature of Leicester will really play to his strength. I think he's got a little bit more potential, this lad, over this kind of trip. And I think he's got a very good chance. A few of the other ones at the top of the betting just didn't appeal to me. I think they've uh, had some of their limitations exposed, where I think dual identity, like I said, over the 10 furlong trip, I think he's a really serious player in this race tomorrow, and Andrea Zaney as well is a positive jockey booking. So that's why dual identity is going to be my next best of the day. So they're the three tips for tomorrow's racing. Let me know in the comments box below what you're going to be backing. Also as well, if you're still enjoying these videos, remember to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe here to my YouTube channel at LuckyLoaders15. Also as well, if you want to follow me on social media, Twitter is the place to do so, where my handle is at LuckyLoader15. And if you want to find out a little bit more about myself, my website address is www.chrisloaderacing.co.uk. So please gamble responsibly. Hopefully we can have some winners for you tomorrow and we'll be seeing you soon.